to the body shop yesterday and they were having a buy two get one free sale for skincare and I had never tried the body shop skincare before so um, some a couple things intrigued me they had a vitamin C line um, and this is what I got from that line this is vitamin C energizing face spritz and it says instant pick me up to refresh and smooth with vitamin C rich Amazonian kamu kamu and community trade aloe vera for dull skin. Now I don't really have dull skin, but I don't want dull skin. So anything with vitamin C is really good for radiance and clarity. Um, so this is just a spritz. Freshen you up, hydrate you. Good for the summertime. Um, other cool things, it says against animal testing, support community trade. Um, so this aloe vera comes from Guatemala, and um, it smells really good, really refreshing. Um, this is something I would probably carry around in my purse, or something that I'd spritz on my face before I put on my serum or moisturizer. The second thing that I got were these um, tea tree cleansing wipes, and I'm going to do a review for this later. And then the third thing I got was this seaweed pore cleansing facial exfoliator. It says for a combination... Um, to oily skin. Yep. And seaweed is obviously from the ocean and anything that's from the ocean is really good for your skin, period. So what this does is it balances the oil on your skin. I don't have extremely oily skin to where I get super shiny and I need blot papers and all this, but I do need to keep a good balance because if I get just a little bit too oily, I start to break out. So what this is going to do is it gives you a nice deep cleanse, um, it exfoliates so it's able to pretty much um, like shovel crap out of your pores and it's going to help of course minimize your pores because the cause of large pores is a bunch of crap expanding them. Fine jojoba beads and olive stone exfoliate and clarify, community trade seaweed, it's oil free, olive seed power, 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 powder. Glycerin, jojoba oil, benzyl salicylate, which is really good um, for acne prone skin, um, pretty much kills bacteria, um, tocopherol, which is vitamin E. So I'm going to try this out in front of you guys for the first time today. It's like clear gel with um, red grains in it, um, red little scrubbies. Feel, feels pretty grainy. It's not like soft and round like some scrubs. This is actually really gritty and grainy. So if you have sensitive skin, this may not be the best option for you. And I like to get a good coverage with my scrub on my face first before wetting my fingertips and then going over it again. And I would do this three to five times a week. If I have any like serious breakouts anywhere, I won't scrub because scrubbing um, an active breakout will make it worse. Okay, I got it all covered. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my fingertips and just in gentle circular motions. Don't put too much pressure. pretty much doing all the work for you, you're just moving it around. And now usually I do my scrub in the shower because I like to go all the way down to here when I scrub and it's just less messy in the shower because you gotta wash it off. If you did that in front of your sink you'd get water everywhere and down your shirt and down your pants so I like to keep my scrubs in the shower. And I also like to do my scrub um, before my cleanser because I like to dig out all the crap out of my pores and then wash it off with my cleanser. So I'm going to rinse all of this off. Okay, and my skin feels really good. It doesn't feel irritated or it doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel anything like that. It just feels kind of normal. I can feel it starting to tighten up a little bit, which is also normal because your pores are going to start to contract. Um, to boost the speed of snapping your pores back, I'm just going to spray a little bit of this vitamin C spritz on my face. And 
And because it's kind of cold, um, it's going to help your pores close a little bit faster. And I think I'm going to really like this. I like how it felt. I like what it does. I love the ingredients in it. I like that it's um, fair trade ingredients and that it doesn't have any harsh um, ingredients in it at all. Now, I know earlier I mentioned that this was oil-free, but then I mentioned that there was jojoba oil in it. There's a difference between mineral oil and cosmetic-grade oil. Cosmetic-grade oil won't hurt your, your skin, I promise you. I have oily skin, and I use stuff with tea tree oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, any, anything like that is safe for your skin. Just stay away from mineral oil. That's the worst possible thing ever for your skin. I mean, one, I use Vicks sometimes. And I learned my lesson a while back that I used to put Vicks right here um, to help me breathe better. But then the ne very next day, I'd have a big old pimple right there. And it's because it's just pure mineral oil. It's petroleum jelly, mineral oil, whatever. And um, very, very bad for your skin. So stay away from that. Um, other than that, I would definitely suggest this to somebody else, um, especially for the summertime. Um, this vitamin C stuff is really good too. Keep it in your purse so that you're hydrated. I know for a lot of people with oily skin, they're scared of different moisturizers and stuff. But in fact, it's more important to keep your skin hydrated um, or else you're going to produce way more oil than you normally would because your skin thinks that it's not moisturized enough, if that makes any sense. So um, something like a liquid hydrator is great for oily skin to keep your skin balanced and hydrated all day. Um, as for the wipes, you can watch my review on it, and that's coming up next, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys. Bye.